the Arduino. Controlling any device using a wireless infrared remote control like that of your TV set. This video covers the basics behind the infrared wireless communication alongside some basic codes that make it possible. To receive an infrared information from the remote control, an IR receiver is used, which produces analog output that will be fed to the Arduino's analog pin, alongside an LED that will serve as a device. It can be replaced with a relay and used to power other powerful devices. Now for those who don't have laptops, don't freak out. In this video, I'll be using my Android phone to code my Arduino, in which I use the OTG cable to communicate with my Arduino, which I got for about $2.5. With that being said, let's plug in whatever needs to be plugged and let's go write some codes. So to start this project, I'll be using a code editor called um, Arduino Droid which is the code editor I used to code on Android so let's get straight to the project so first I will store the pin where the LED will be connected I will store this in a variable which is int LED is equal to pin number 13 that's on the digital pin number 13 of the Arduino board so that's one then what else again then the IR sensor the infrared sensor which is also going to be on the Arduino board so I store that in another variable called IR so I'll store that on an analog pin 0 now why an analog pin so the IR produces an analog output if you check this on the oscilloscope you see it that this produces an analog output from the output of the IR pin so since it's an analog output, I'll put it on the analog pin of the Arduino. Okay. So having done that, then we store our state, which is a boolean. Okay, I spell that. Oh, yeah. Boolean. Let's call this state. So boolean state. Let's store this state as uh, true. So this is true. So that's basically all we need to do for the variables so let's move to the next step avoid setup so in this void setup is used only to declare let's use this to declare our pin mode to know which one is the input and the output so let's go through let's say our pin mode P mode for our LED. So this LED will send the device into the Arduino and then the Arduino will power the LED. That's an output. So let's call this output. Send us an output. And then our IR. Our IR receives the information from the remote. So it is an input device. So let's call this P mode as um, IR inputs so that's for that they will move into the main area our void loop so for the void loop here's basically what we are doing we are going to take an information from our remote pass it into the Arduino IC process it and gives out the information the result so what we are doing here is when the remote is pressed when the remote is pressed the LED switches on then when the remote is pressed again the LED goes off so that's what we are trying to do here so let's go straight into this so we're going to say so we're making another variable now IR value Let's call this IR value. Our IR value is equal to analog read. 
analog read IR. So what we're basically doing here, we are reading the value from this, reading the value since an analog um, input. So you are reading the value from it and pass it into this variable called IR value. That's what we are doing here. So just to simplify the code. So yeah, I'll say if IR value, if our IR value is less than um, 100, let's use 100 because every remote, every IR remote is within this range. So I'm not using a particular button. So just every IR remote is within this range of less than 100. So which means I can use any IR remote to control this, be it a TV remote or whatever, since it's an IR remote. So I'll say if IR value is less than 100, what I'm particularly saying is if this IR here is less than 100, then what should you do? Then it says state is equal to not state. So what this is doing, it takes this state here as true. Then if it receives an input from, if it receives a reading from the IR, that means a remote has been pressed, then it changes this state from true to false. That's not true, that's false. That's for that. And we come here and make another if statement saying, if state, so since the state now here is false, the current state here is true, and I want the LED to be off at this moment. So when the LED is true, when the state is true, LED should be off. So when it's false, at this point, the LED is false. What I'm going to say now is this. Okay, let's just copy it. If state is equal to false, then what should you do? If state is equal to false, digital rights, you know, digital rights, LED, high. That's the LED should go on. If the state is false, the LED should go on. Else, the LED should go off. Else, LED, low. So this is basically the principle behind this. So having done that, so what we let me review what we did here. I stored the pin value into the variable LED. So did the same for the IR value into the variable IR. Then I set a boolean as true. Then I declared our P mode LED as output because it's the LED it has to go on so then an output and IR receives information from the remote that's an input. Then the void loop where I passed this the value of this IR into this variable IR value. Then I'm simply saying if this IR value is less than 100 it changes the state from true to false. So if it's false the LED lights up else the led goes off so let's compile this first and check for errors okay there's an error on line 9 okay ir value was not declared in the scope yeah this is because i said if you want to store a variable you have to use the int or a const int that's if you don't want to change the variable so let's just focus on this so int. So I have to define this here. Int ir value. So I'm not going to give this anything. So I'm going to define that now. There should be no errors. Compilation finished. So let's upload this to our board and test.